Right back to the highlights, 281 New Deal, number four Stratford. Early in the first, Julio Valdez on the run. The sweep carrying him right into the end zone. Name of the show, Stratford up 6-0. Then New Deal's defense coming up big. David Aguirre coming up with the interception here. And he's going to swing it all the way around for the pick six. The Lions roar to a 7-6 lead, and they are pumped up. But here come the Elks. Bryce Braden calling his own number. Braden going to trot it into the end zone. Oh, they let New Deal celebrate. They had the lead. But here comes Bryce Braden. Stratford back on top, 12-7. Second quarter, Israel Lacone avoiding a jam up. He's going to run it in for another Elks score, 20-7. And then Braden going to do it again, spinning, moving right up the middle. Stratford wins it 53-16, ending New Deal season. Up next, either number six, Hawley or Sonora. Scoreless in the first, Keegan Abels going to air it out to Deontay Ramon. And he's going to haul it in. Hawley with the two-point conversion up 8-0. But Sonora going to answer back. It's Jamie Biltron. The pitch, it's going to bounce on the ground. Edgar DeLuna picks it up, takes it in. It's 8-8. But late second quarter, Keegan Agle, Abels with the touchdown. Hawley wins it 31-8. They get Stratford. Tap State Semis, Lubbock Christian, defending state champs, Hollettsville, Sacred Heart in Dublin. Luke Lee, a three-yard touchdown run. Lubbock Christian up 6-0. Things so sweet in Dublin. Lee to Brady Simmons. He'll take it in. Two-point conversion made it 14-0. In the fourth, 29-11 Lubbock Christian. Luke Lee airing it out to Joe Fernahue. Hauling it in. Lubbock Christian wins 39-11. They'll play for the Tap State title next Saturday against tomorrow's First Baptist Northland Christian winner. We got Borden County Westbrook tomorrow winner gets number one happy or number eight Miami tied at 22 overtime happy it's Joey Blackman a 25 yard touchdown Cowboys go up 30 22 undefeated Miami fourth and six last chance they gotta have it they don't get it number one happy wins it 30-22, they meet tomorrow's Borden County Westbrook winner in the state semis. Number three, Jayton. Number one, Benjamin. Battle of undefeateds in Hermley. Mustangs up 46-26. Grayson Rigdon fighting off Jaybird defenders. Coming right at our camera, and he's in. 54-26, Benjamin. Then, the defending state champs, it's rigged in again. This kid is a monster, and I mean that so respectfully. Doesn't like what he sees, he'll throw it to Keegan Hayes. Taking it in from there, and it's 62-26. Benjamin, Jayton trying to hang in there. Bodie Ham, a day after eating ham for Thanksgiving, punching it in at 62-34. Rigged in, too tough to tackle. Je Sean Stanley and tried, 70-34. Benjamin, Ham trying to keep the kid game going and the season from 45 yards out he'll dodge the Benjamin defense and trying to keep Jayton undefeated they've cut it to 78 40 but the Mustangs rigged in gonna hurdle a Jaybird defender take it in for the score uh, as uh, they needed the extra point as he gets in and they will get the one point extra point Mustangs win it 40 85 40 congrats to coach Sean Stanley and the Jaybird it's a great season. We caught up with him after the game. Yeah, it was a great season. You know, we obviously wish that tonight had gone a little bit differently. You know, we, we, we didn't we didn't play to our standard tonight. And, and uh, you know, it cost us. Uh, but still, proud of our kids. You know, you go 12-1 and one and, you know, win the district championship and the by district championship and the area championship. It's hard to, it's hard to be disappointed. Uh, but I sure, you know, I wish that we had uh, – just played a little bit better tonight, but, you know, that falls on me. I'm proud of our kids and um, proud of how they compete and how they act. Yeah, community support's awesome. I mean, we've got, we've got, you know, Jayton's a great community, and we have the best fans in the state, and uh, they, whatever we're doing, they're going to be there to support us. Up next, either number six, Balmeray, or number two, Klondike, playing in Rankin. Klondike, first drive, Colby Peppers dropping back. Deep pass caught by Luke Smith, almost gets into the end zone. From there, they pitch it to Creed Warren, hot name of the night. Creed, indeed. Klondike up 8-0. Cougars at midfield, Jared Quintanilla getting the throw it this time, hitting Luke Smith up the middle. He's off to the races, two-point kick good again. Klondike looking good. 
Then some misdirection. Warren getting the ball, powering through a tackle and scoring. 24-8 Klondike in the first. No stopping Dalton to Graffin Reed's dudes. Quintanilla taking a toss, running over a bear. Klondike scores 100. They win 162. Number two Klondike, number one Benjamin next week in the state semis. Tomorrow I'm going to be in Portales at Greyhound Stadium in eastern New Mexico. Lovington facing Portales for a state championship game. 2 p.m. Central Time. Lovington and looking for their 20th state title. I talked to Coach Anthony Gonzalez. I think at the end of the day for uh, for our football team is is just we got to start fast and I think that's something that we've done since the start of district play as our teams come out and not been lethargic at all whatsoever. Our attention to detail for the little things, pre-snap penalties, things like that, taking care of the football. If we can do those things on Saturday, we're going to have a great opportunity to bring a blue trophy back. Trinity Christian for the third straight year. They're in the TAP State semifinals. Play Dallas Christian 6 p.m. tomorrow in Graham. They know they got a tough test in front of them. Dallas Christian is uh, an incredible program, um, and, you know, widely considered uh, um, one of the, the top two private schools in the entire state. So um, we're excited for an opportunity to play them. And, um, you know, I uh, didn't like the way things ended last year and hoping for a different outcome this year. We're just keeping big moments small. Everything's about our, our uh, individual execution of assignments. Um, and so we're taking it uh, one series at a time, one play at a time, and, and one assignment at a time, making sure that um, we've got that hyper-micro focus on what it is that we need to do to be successful.